So hi, hello and welcome. Uh, Mike Crop Hunter here, Oliver is my name. And uh, I did receive uh, a few emails uh, a couple of weeks ago where some people requested, some of my viewers requested that I talk a little bit about uh, some human anatomy. Um, should I, I should explain a few uh, anatomy slides, some histological slides, and here we are today. So something slightly different today. We're gonna see how um, the viewers like uh, this type of video. And today I decided to explain to you a little bit the differences in structure of uh, arteries and veins. As a matter of fact, um, the slide that you see here is actually a slide of a cross section of an artery and a vein. And what we have uh, here is, is already this here is an artery. Remember arteries carry blood away from the heart. They carry blood with a high blood pressure and look at the thickness of the wall. Arteries uh, have to withstand a high blood pressure and therefore have a fairly thick wall. And this is now the wall of the artery. And uh, in here, inside the artery over here, you see it's kind of um, squeezed together. Together. It's kind of uh, collapsed. And what you have in here is, is you see some, some of these um, brownish reddish structures. These are uh, some red blood cells that are still left over from the preparation process. Um, but you see that uh, the artery itself, yeah, is, is a fairly, uh, fairly thick uh, in, on the side here. But I can also show you a vein. The vein is next uh, to the artery over here. And you might even have a difficulty finding it, but uh, the arrow now points to the inside of the vein. Look at this. Now I'm actually going to go from end to end over here. Again, this is a cross section. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, look, it um, goes all the way over here. Yeah, your dead end over here, all the way up here, yeah, around over here. Up here we up, other way, here we are. And over here, again, you have some, some red blood cells uh, scattered out in here. And if you look uh, carefully, then you're going to see that in comparison to the artery, the vein has a pretty thin wall. The reason is, is because the veins carry blood back to the heart. Um, there is already a low blood pressure and therefore the walls can be much thinner. The blood also flows much more slowly. But I, I'd like to go up a little bit with the magnification now to show you how this actually looks like here. Now you can also see the red blood cells a little bit better. You see it's kind of like dotted. So these the individual cells and the, the wall here is, is fairly is fairly thin compared to, to an artery so let's try to find the artery again here um, this is again a slightly higher magnification I have to find it where is it here we are again look yeah um, and uh, it's pretty thick here uh, otherwise uh, if it were not that thick then uh, the blood vessel might actually burst because of the high blood pressure you might also see that there are lines in here Okay, um, and these lines, uh, they uh, could be actually so-called smooth muscles. Um, and smooth muscles um, are able to contract and this way they are able to um, control uh, the blood pressure and they're able to therefore regulate the blood flow. Yeah, and uh, also in here you can see that uh, there are, as I mentioned already before, um, some, some red blood cells over here. And there are different layers here, okay. Um, yeah, you see that the inside uh, there is a cell lining over here and then you have uh, all of the fibers uh, surrounding it. I suppose also a lot of collagen fibers that is um, to make sure that uh, that there are, um, the blood vessel is, is strong enough so that it doesn't burst. Yeah, And then um, over here you have got the remaining tissue, maybe some muscles you might be able to see, some maybe some uh, yeah, some other structures, fat tissues and so on, connective tissue as I said, said already before. Yeah, But uh, you might now wonder why in the world is, is the inside of the blood vessel so flat? Yeah, it's here in the artery and then over here in the vein as well. It, it's kind of uh, compressed together quite a bit. And I, I actually want to show you something over here. I've got a, yeah, this is a, a case a case for my for my eyeglasses. And I'm, this is gonna be now my blood vessel. Okay, so let's take the eyeglasses out and let's assume that this is now an artery or a vein. Uh, probably a vein is better here because it has a thin wall. And uh, of course there's blood flowing in here. Okay, now you're able to see me better. And and the way that it looks like under the microscope is it's kind of, you see, kind of pressed together like this, right? And it's kind of collapsed because it's empty. Um, so um, and this is the reason why um, the blood vessel looks uh, the way it does. And what we're able to see is we're just able to see the cross section over here. Yeah. So that is basically uh, pretty much um, everything that I wanted to show you today. Um, we can actually go back a little bit uh, to a slightly lower magnification so that you're able to see this a little bit better. Let me swing off the condenser here. Yeah. And uh, here you see uh, both of them yeah, lined up next to each other. And over here, this here is the vein. Yeah. Um, and uh, this one over here is an artery. And just look again 
um, at the thickness of the wall. Significant difference here. Well, um, if you like these type of uh, short uh, explanatory videos, then please uh, do comment below. And more important uh, even uh, is, is uh, do click the subscribe button because what I do is, is I check uh, the videos, which videos uh, obtain the most uh, subscribes. And then I know which videos I'm able to make uh, for you because uh, this uh, determines a little bit uh, also the contents of this YouTube channel. I hope uh, that, uh, yeah, I'll be able to see you again soon. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.